Have you ever wondered why it is very, very expensive to own a pet, particularly a dog? The vet bills associated with raising a dog from a puppy to adulthood, if the dog lives to like seven or eight years, is really, really high. And this is because the dog has a lot of illnesses associated with the kind of diet they eat. Most dogs are fed kibble processed food and this food is very very similar to junk food you find in fast food in the human context so if you take someone for example that eats a lot of fast food and someone that eats healthy you always see the difference because the health of the person that doesn't eat junk food will be better this is the reason why raw diets is very very good for dogs the number one reason why I decided to put my pet when I got her at eight weeks on a raw diet is because I realized from research that there are about seven benefits why a dog should be on a raw diet. From better health, softer coat, infrequent and small poops, clean teeth, fresher breath, better muscle tone and better energy level. These are some of the reasons why you need to consider making sure that you feed your dog a raw food diet. I'm not an expert, I'm not a veterinary doctor, but there's a lot of information, enough information to support the thought process why raw diets is good for dogs. For example, if you're feeding your dog kibble, a processed food, most of the nutrients that is required for your dog will have been destroyed in the processing of uh, those kibbles when they're being made. So one good reason why raw diet is good for dogs is because they, uh, they have more access to balanced diet. So for example, I feed raw, raw, raw meat, lean meat, I feed uh, meaty bone, I feed organ meat, I feed fish, all this different things and I feed vegetables as well. All these things combined together provides a balanced diet for my dog. That is something that you cannot find in a kibble based diet. Then another thing that I noticed is the, the, the texture and the skin coat of my dog is soft and shiny. I say this because I've had dogs in the past. Uh, I started having dogs at age 10. So this is not my first dog. And I noticed the difference that my current dog that I have, she's about six months old and she's been on a raw diet from when I got her at eight weeks. Her coat is soft, fluffy and tender. It's, it's, it's just amazing that when I take her out for walks in the park, people always comment that, wow, that's a cute dog. And my response is always like she's on a raw diet because I can see the visible difference between my dog when I'm in the park with other dogs and I can see that clear difference. So that's one of the reasons why I thought to myself, why is this raw diet really good? Then I also noticed the dentition as well. So when a dog is on kibble or, or any other type of food that is not a raw diet, you, you have they have that tendency of developing dental issues the older they get, the older they become. But with raw diet, when you feed your dog raw meaty bone, the fact that they're able to they're able to chew on that meat kind of cleanses their teeth. So if you're feeding your dog processed food, you're feeding them carbohydrates, starch, sugar, and all those bad things that will create bacteria in their mouth and in the long run will increase your veterinary bill because you have to take them to the bed to have their teeth cleaned. I've had Coco for a few months now, although she's still young, but I can tell from her dentition that she would hardly need anything to be done to her teeth because they're immaculately white because she's always chewing on raw meaty bone she's chewing and the process of chewing and biting all those things cleanses her teeth obviously her breath is also fresher people complain about doggy breath and stuff like that coco when she's breathing in your mouth or whatever in your face <laughs> when she's breathing in your face you can sense that a breath is just neutral, like absolutely fresh and neutral. 
Another reason why raw diet is good for dogs is the muscle tone. Coco is not fat, she's lean and fit because she, do, she doesn't have any grain or processed food in her diet. She's on a 100% raw diet. And looking at her muscle tone, looking at her features, apart from the fact that she's a purebred bull mastiff, her muscle tone is something to behold because when, again, when I take her out for walks and I see other dogs, you can tell a fat dog straight away when you see them and you can tell from a, a, a very fit dog. And I know my dog is extremely fit and this is as a result of the diet that she's on. And also our, our energy level. Coco is very, very energetic. And again, I've had dogs since I was 10 years old. So she's not my first dog. I've had a Rottweiler in the past. I've even had a Bull Mastiff. So I can tell the difference from energy level of my current dog compared to the dogs that I've had in the past because she's the first dog that I've had that I've placed on a 100% raw diet. And if you do some research online, you see the benefits why you should really consider switching to raw diet for your dog. It's going to reduce your veterinary bills, the, the, the visits to the vet will reduce and it's going to give your dog that long life that you hope for. And your dog is not going to just grow up to start having different or multiple illnesses. So this is a short video that I'm trying to kind of communicate why raw diet is good for dogs. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell notification because I'm going to be publishing more videos about raw feeding, raw, feed, raw, raw diet recipes, 